It's March the 15th. Good morning. Let's imagine all the empires in the world since Jesus. You know, the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, the uh, Holy Roman Empire, the, the, the uh, British Empire, Napoleon's Empire, the United States, the uh, Soviet Union, they multiply. There, you know, empires in ancient Africa and Egypt that I don't even know the names of. But all of these empires all over the world. And Satan comes to Jesus and says, "Hey, I will give you all of these if you simply worship me." Now we might imagine that, oh, that would be pretty good because Jesus is nice and kind and good and he would rule benevolently and had be wonderful. No, I, you know, I don't like to use Star Wars as sermon illustrations, but in this case, it's a good one. He would become Darth Vader, ruling over the galaxies, the, the people with this terrible power uh, subservient, he would be subservient only to the emperor, that um, strange character in those movies. And, and he would be powerful but terrible. Uh, we don't want that sort of Jesus ruling over us. We don't want to see him corrupted and to see him powerful but, but terrible. Um, in his uh, in his power, and so he says, "Go away, Satan! Leave me alone." He demonstrates his power through uh, suffering and and servanthood. It's a completely different model of power than what um, than what Satan offers. Uh, Satan offers him what we've called prestige, the fame and power, the you know, raw exercise of authority. And that's never a, a good idea for anyone. Um, it's not a good idea for, uh, especially for Jesus. He says, you, you know, you shall worship God alone and serve God alone. You won't serve anybody else. Now, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't have relationships of, uh, uh, where we serve people. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't um, do what the boss tells us at work or that we shouldn't uh, uh, live in these hierarchies. You know, we, we need to do what the government says do, and we need to do what the policeman says to do, and we need to, we need to you know, obey the rules and all of that. So, so not serving anybody but God doesn't mean you have freedom to you know, do what you want. This isn't the Old West. Um, but instead, we serve God in, in all the relationships and structures of our lives. And that's what we uh, are happy that Jesus did. And so Jesus is faced, though, with this fundamental choice. Do you want to uh, suffer and die and r rise again and become the Lord of the universe? Or do you want to worship Satan and become um, the Lord of the world that way? And again, if he did that, he'd be a Darth Vader-like character and none of us would be happy. None of us would be saved from sin. And on that cheery note, I'll bid you goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.